Good morning. How are we doing today? Welcome back to all right, what's next? Today we're gonna work on an antique welding helmet. Uh, this guy right here, it's an old Jackson model helmet. I think it was made back in the 70s. This is not my helmet, this is my brother's helmet. But it is the exact same helmet that I have. The only difference is, is his is painted this bullshit freaking uh, Broncos uh, based colors or mine is cool. Ah, so what the deal is with this thing, the headgear freaking snapped on it. Uh, I was trying to put tools away. Uh, I have a bunch of my tools in my brother's toolbox because I ran out of room a long time ago and I'm too cheap to buy a bigger freaking toolbox. Uh, and I was putting my tools away and I smacked his freaking the headgear and snapped off. So I got online and I looked around and I spent probably, God, I spent probably tens of minutes trying to find a freaking replacement headgear. And for a 40 plus year old helmet, they're really, really, uh, yeah, not, you can't find them. At least nowhere that I was looking, you know, Amazon, eBay. Uh, so I don't want to throw away a helmet, perfectly good freaking helmet. We gotta got to fix it because this is a good old school helmet with the uh, the four by five inch freaking screen, uh, not screen but freaking window. It's not an auto darkener. It's the good old school kind where you gotta you know actually get set up and ready and flip your head to get that helmet to come down. Don't like auto darkeners. Uh, use them. They have their place. I'm not gonna freaking knock them that much because sometimes, sometimes if you got a weld especially some of the welding that I do, uh, you've got to like cram yourself and just climb into an area and you're packed up in there where you got your freaking, uh, your stinger up in here, your helmet's right here, and uh, you have no room to move. There is absolutely no way you're going to be able to get up, flip your helmet up, see what the hell you're doing, and then flip that fucking helmet back down and then start welding. It ain't gonna happen. So yeah, from time to time, an auto darkener has its place. It, it works a lot better than, you know, just closing your eyes and, uh, you know, flash burning the shit out of your face. Although I've done that many, 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 many times as well. And that, those are really fun situations to weld in because uh, that's when you're going to have that little freaking spark or little blob of freaking slag that's going to come off and it is going to find the area that is not protected by your leathers. And it's going to get in there and it's going to burn the shit out of you. But you got to finish that weld. So you're going to grit your teeth. You're going to scream. But you're going to keep that fucking bead going until you're done. Because you don't want to have to try and climb back up in there. You know, and you know, the burn will heal later. You know, put some brake clean on it or something. That'll clean all the germs out of it. But anyways, could not find a headgear for this. Don't want to throw away a freaking 40-year-old freaking helmet. This, thing, this thing's nice. So at work, a helmet got thrown in the trash. It was a $350 auto darkening helmet. Uh, one of the freaking people at the shop had it sitting on the floor because they had to weld this and now they got to cut this before they weld this and uh, fired up the torch, started cutting away and just blowing the slag right onto the face of the fucking helmet. And melted the uh, the auto darkening sensor out of it melted the freaking uh the the, the viewfinder the, the the screen the, the glass whatever the fuck you want to call it melted the plastic just destroyed the front of this helmet and it's like seriously and it's like oh i didn't see it there it's like you were fucking staring right at it how in the fuck did you not see it right there and like oh you know whatever it's it's called going to work but anyways, the helmet got thrown in the trash and it was in the trash. So I freaking snagged it out of there. What they didn't melt was the headgear in that helmet. So we're going to take this headgear out of a, I think it was about a two year old helmet, pretty new, fucking expensive. And we're going to modify this 40 year old helmet to take brand new modern headgear. <clears throat> Welding helmet dimensions really have not changed at all ever you know they change their designs make them look fucking fancy put cool freaking non-burnable freaking decals and shit all over them to get people to buy a helmet that looks like a skull and spend five hundred dollars on it and 
but I don't like them helmets. I like these old school, great big freaking viewfinder helmets, and we certainly don't want to get rid of one. Because if you ever do any welding and you're up in there and you got the helmet on and uh, you're stuffed into an area and you have to weld like right over here, but you can't get your head turned to see it. And if you got one of them little narrow freaking things, you can't see what you're welding. But you got the great big viewfinder, big screen like this. You can see all over the place where you're welding, where your head is jammed into an area that you really can't turn. These are the best fucking helmets in the world. Uh, plus I look like kind of an idiot when I use the uh, auto darkeners because no matter how many times I've used them, I've been welding so, for so long that I have the auto darkener on. I get ready to strike my arc, even though the helmet's down, as soon as I go to strike that arc, it's because I got to flip the helmet down that's already down. I, it just, it's ingrained into muscle memory into your brain. So what we got to do, we're going to take this old head gear out. These are your tensioners. And it is what supports your helmet. You, you screw them down until that helmet stays up and it only requires a little bit of shift of your head and the helmet flops down. Too loose and the helmet won't stay up too tight and you can't get it to flop down. And that's what these screws accomplish. And then on this old helmet, it's got these holes drilled into it that accepts this little dowel pin that goes in there and you can take that out and adjust it and that'll be based on you know where the headgear is going to sit based on how your freaking helmet is going to sit this one has the same feature but it's not really built into it's not built into the part of the helmet it's built into part of the headgear so the headgear itself on this utilizes a much bigger hole in the helmet and it has a tab so basically we've got oh there's a little a little tab right there we have to put a notch in the helmet and that will lock your headgear into place uh, that way when you flip your helmet down the helmet goes and your headgear freaking stays where it's supposed to go but The deal with it, oops, I dropped freaking, there is a rubber o-ring that sits on the top that basically is like a spring, it applies a spring tension. This has got some little locking jaws and everything, so this piece right here it is going to go on the outside of the helmet. That little tab, we want that tab to be able to go basically straight up and down. So we have to open this helmet up. And what we need is a hole big enough in the helmet to accept that because that's going to be on the inside of the helmet the helmet will sit on this collar and then that outside piece will go on there and that tab will go into the helmet and will lock it all into place and obviously the holes are not the appropriate size now i don't well, it would be nice if i had a stepper bit to drill these out i don't have one here i've got one in my toolbox at work I should have grabbed it before I fucking came home, but I didn't. So we're going to use a Dremel. Yeah, okay. So the helmet already has, let's see, can you, probably can't see that for shit, but there is a mold line right here that is basically the same diameter of the hole that we need to make. We're going to take a Dremel with a sanding wheel and we're gonna open this thing up and we'll just do it little by little until that disc will freaking pop in there. So let me crank my stereo up while I get the Dremel out.
All right, that turned out rather well. Uh, I wish I would have, I needed it rotated just, just a fucking hair more because it comes down and it hits your friggin' chest a little bit and I don't have any more adjustment out of it. But, uh, you just ride the, the headgear a little bit lower on the freaking back of your head and that works fucking stays up nice drops nice might be just a hair tight there we go perfect so now we got 40 year old fucking welding helmet back in action I can give that back to my brother and he can continue to not weld all right don't forget like subscribe notifications fucking watch all my other videos like them too i will see you next time thanks for watching